Good afternoon and a very warm welcome to all the ladies and gentlemen present here who are joining us off the media and the motor fans who are joining us via the live webcast. A very, very warm welcome to you. I am Sheena Chauhan and I will be your host at this Moto Gallery. Well, you are wondering why I am calling it a Moto Gallery? Yes, you are going to have all your questions answered definitely by the end of this event. So ladies and gentlemen, today majority of us habitually use our smartphones for almost everything. We use it a lot, so much so that we are addicted to our phones and they are with us all the time. But how often have you been led down by them? Hmm. How often do you feel that you are missing out on what matters to you the most because your smartphone can't match your pace? So let's find out what Moto has in store for us to ensure that we never miss out on what matters. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, so are you ready? To begin with, ladies and gentlemen, Let's welcome on stage Mr. Delonier, VP Lenovo, MBG Asia Pacific to talk us through what Lenovo has been up to. Please let's welcome him with a round of applause. Oh. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon, dear media friends and model fans. I'm Delonier from Lenovo. I'm in charge of uh, mobile business for Asia Pacific. Welcome all of you to join us today. As we start, I want to take back one step to talk about uh, Lenovo's vision. We want to make life better and work more efficient by delivering smart end-user devices, powerful infrastructure, all this with uh, connected cloud service and the best uh, user experience. Lenovo is no longer just a PC or smartphone company. Actually, we are focused on developing smart devices and uh, deliver smarter connectivity so that we can enable new service and a new experience. In Lenovo Mobile Business Group, actually we work Every day, work every day focus on the, our vision. In the year 2015, has been the year with uh, many milestones for us. So we move up 55 sports on 14 global 500 to be 231. In the brand, rated the normal amongst global the top 100. Uh, global brand. Then we saw the report from uh, Boston Consultant Group. Actually, Lenovo was uh, rated uh, among the world, uh, worldwide top 50 most uh, innovative companies. We, uh, we are focused on the consumer centric innovation through our dual brand strategy. Both the Motorola and the Lenovo devices that we built up in a uh, consumer first and uh, versus a uh, technology first approach, addressing glaring uh, customer needs in an uh, intelligent, intelligent uh, manner. Actually, we will continue to keep a customer in the heart of uh, every product. Also, we want to focus on the customer experience so that it will help us build a better mobile relationship which end user expect from their devices. Our growth and the success in worldwide and in India are based on top three things. First one is the innovative devices, meaningful technology, as well as uh, consumer centricity. Let me talk about the innovative product first. We kept the innovation in the heart of everything we do. So Lenovo is among the only company we have an entire ecosystem of devices from uh, enterprise solution to individual devices. Regardless uh, system X solution, Moto360 smartwatch and the Lenovo VR solutions, we constantly exploring you know, smart devices so that we can transform 
people's lives. In terms of meaningful technology, it's very important to enhance consumers' experience. We are always looking to bring in the next generation new products. We are also focus on the core technologies, really make the focus on devices uh, competitiveness. Also, smarter connectivity, which we call that one computing. And we're also looking at cloud infrastructure, solutions and services for future big data and uh, cloud intelligence. Regarding consumer centricity, we are driving across a value chain. Actually, we are transforming the company from a push to a pull approach. And we are pretty much focused on the customer insights driven technology innovation across all the functions. Also, we, we are looking at the consumer first approach from the IT infrastructure to big data toolings, which can create synergy across all the value chains. We also enhanced our consumer customer service in India. Actually, we already built up 360 service centers. 65 of that actually is exclusive. So the result is really visible at our success in the Indian market. We are number two online brand. We are also number two 40 device provider in this market. With a phenomenal response from the Indian market, now we are number three brand in volume and number four in volume. The combination of Motorola and uh, Lenovo devices, our shipments year to year jumped uh, almost 60%. As we grow and uh, bring the company to the new height, we will continue to focus on the customer experience, which is going to be the foundation for our success in the market. That's uh, pretty much from my side. Thanks a lot of you. Thank you, sir, for that wonderful insight into what Lenovo MBG is focusing on. Moto, a brand which is synonymous with innovation, style, and performance. It has something in store for all of us, something that none of us should miss out. So let's find out what it is. Ladies and gentlemen, I now request you to please welcome on stage with a big round of applause, Mr. Amit Boni, General Manager, Moto India. Audible? All right. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Amit Boni. I'm General Manager from Moto Line India. Thank you very much for joining us here today. Um, there is some exciting things that we're going to talk about throughout this presentation today. But what I also want to do, just like Dylan, kind of take a step back and kind of give you a quick overview of what we have been up to the last about 12 months. Um, it has been an absolutely cracker-jacker of a year for us. And uh, what I want to do is kind of call out four or five key things uh, that have been absolute amazing milestones for us. Uh, number one, we now have more products than ever before which are a part of a million units club. So there are more products in our portfolio which individually have done more than a million units. Um, we, when we launched uh, Moto 360 first generation about a year and a half, two back, I remember we had said that we will be the ones who will really set the tone for this wearable category in India. And I'm very happy to say that in Android wearable space, we are number one and we lead that space by a long distance. Number three is how we engage with our consumers. So whether it's the you know, service centers and exclusive service centers that we are putting together for them, or whether it's the chatter and the conversation we have with them. And a recent uh, conversation was uh, around how we are going to talk about these new things that we are going to announce today. Uh, number three busiest band is what IFAX called us. And that's, as I said, a culmination of a lot of conversations that we do. And it's, it's a two-way conversation, what consumers tell us and we are, what we tell them about the brand and what Moto means to them. But last but not the least is, is the innovation. And, and as Dylan mentioned, innovation is like central to us. Consumer-centric innovation is central to us as a product company. So whether it is Shatter Shield as a technology which takes care of you know, uh, pain points consumers have, or whether it's turbocharging, power, turbo power charging that we have introduced. We today have turbo power charging practically across the portfolio. 
especially in a country like India where electric supply can be slightly dicey. Imagine getting six hours of mixed usage on your devices within just by 15 minutes of charge. Those are some of the things that we have driven and some of the numbers, some of the rankings that Dylan talked about uh, or the million units club that we are developing for our products. It's a lot to do with how consumer centric uh, as an organization we are and how much we focus and we'll keep on focusing on that. Now, as I said, uh, Moto G globally for Motorola has been one of the best selling uh, smartphones ever, right? And I'm very happy to say that India has been an integral part of that successful journey. We are the second largest market of Moto G globally, uh, just behind Brazil. And hopefully, uh, despite the internal competition, we'll want to make it the biggest market for uh, Moto G at some stage. Now, what does that mean? So, if you see Moto G third gen, Moto G third gen sales beat its previous generations by about 200%. Now, I, I have been myself amazed at how well our products do. 200% is not a mean achievement by any stretch of imagination. So third gen Moto G, G they are 200% better than the previous gens. So what is it that, what, that we as Moto are trying to do? Um, I think it's absolutely critical to kind of focus on consumers and drive that innovation. So as much as our competition would want to say that more is better, we do not believe that more is better. We believe that more of meaningful technology is better. What does that mean? That means that anything that our end consumers want, anything that helps them drive their engagement with their device better, because devices have become so much more personal, it helps them go through their everyday chores of life in an easier manner and stays with them for a longer period of time and doesn't become obsolete very, very quickly. That is the kind of more that we like. That is the more meaningful technology that we want to drive. Now, with that as an intent, we believe that consumers across groups want different products. So we are expanding our Moto G line of products. So we'll have now two different products that you can see. We'll have the fourth generation Moto G and we'll have the fourth generation Moto G Plus. Okay, so fourth generation Moto G and fourth generation Moto G Plus. I'm going to you know, invite and introduce my colleague from product management, Alison, and she's going to come and give us some more details about both of these amazing products, the Moto G and the Moto G Plus. Alison? Thank you, Amit. Thank you. That was absolutely wonderful for taking us through all the fabulous work which has been done in India. Thank you very much. Wow. Not one, but two two new Moto G's this year. Now that's a double treat for all our customers. Well, does this pique your excitement? Well, it defi definitely piques my excitement for sure. To tell us more about these two new Moto G's, let us invite on stage with a huge round of applause, Miss Alison Yi, Director of Product Management, Moto. Good afternoon. My name is Allison Yi. I'm the product manager for Moto G and Moto G Plus. It is my honor to be here today to launch this product with you in India. So when you think of a product, what differentiates a great product from a good product? It starts with design. How it feels in your hand, how it looks. Are you proud to share it with your friends and family? The timeless design of the Moto G family makes it one of these great products. You'll see that the Moto G and Moto G Plus is very thin. How thin is it? It's 7.9 millimeters. To be exact, 7.87. The camera bezel in the back is shortened and is surrounded by a metal trim to give that polished, stylish look. The edges of the device are tapered and squared to give it a modern look. When you think of a device, you want it to be functional and yet you want it to give you every detail. 
the new Moto G, G Plus will have a 5.5 inch display. At 1080 and 401 PPI, the highest pixel that a human eye can detect, you will never miss that detail on somebody's face during your video call. With Corning Gorilla Glass 3 to prevent scratches and nano coating to prevent water, it makes Moto G and G Plus both reliable and durable. We don't want to miss out on power. We don't want our battery to die. Moto G family will have 3,000 milliamp battery size. That is an improvement of over 15% from Moto G3. As Amit indicated, we have provided turbocharging on the Moto G series. Six hours of usage with 15 minutes of charge. Let me give you an example. I took a late flight out of Chicago to come here. They made an announcement call for boarding. I noticed my phone was at 15% battery life. I'm not used to charging my phone during the day. So I quickly plugged in and was able to listen to my music on the flight here. So turbocharging will make your life easier and ease your mind. We all multitask on our devices. The, Moto G, the new Moto G family will have a octa-core processor, Snapdragon 617 CPU. The multiple cores will help you ease your experience through your different apps when you're multitasking. The 13 megapixel rear-facing camera is the number one intent for a Moto G 3 buyer. We have enhanced the camera performance with Im image signal processing improvements as well as autofocus improvements. The selfie imager is a five megapixel with 84 degree field of view. It is a wide angle and is improved by 15% over a previous generation. You will not miss your friend that's standing far away from you when you take that selfie. And you will not miss on speed. It will run on Android. It will be on Android M with Modal Pure software. We will continue to support Volti as we did last year. As well, this year will be new. It's dual SIM, dual standby on 4G and 3G versus last year was 4G and 2G. We continue to enhance our software experience on Modal Pure. We introduced modal display last year. This year we added two new features to modal display. Swipe to unlock and swipe to dismiss. Pick up to stop ringing is a new feature that we are adding this year. So imagine you were in a meeting and you forgot to turn your ringer to vibrate and your phone starts to ring. You can pick it up and automatically your phone will be in vibrate mode. The next one we're adding is flip to do not disturb. When you're in a meeting, you can flip your phone over and it will automatically silence your notifications and your phone calls. With the modern fresh design, all day battery life, optical core processor, the Moto G is a balanced smartphone for every aspect of your life, whether you're at school or at home or at work. But with growth, it's not a surprise to anyone that different consumers want different technology and have different needs. So we added Moto G Plus. Moto G and Moto G Plus have the same design language. From far away, you will not be able to tell a difference between the two phones. The Moto G Plus is for a consumer who wants quick access to their device and it's upgraded with a 16 megapixel imager. How many times do you think an average user unlocks their device? Take a guess. Shout out a number. 25. 17. 30? It's 85 times. If we can help you 
do something less 85 times per day. Wouldn't you like that? I would like that. So we added a fingerprint sensor to the Moto G+. It gives you quick and easy access to your data on your phone and your apps. And it's secure because your fingerprint is secure to you. So you can store up to five fingerprints on the device. So you can pick and choose which finger you want to use. We get feedback all the time, whether from users or researchers that tell us, please improve your camera performance. We really want our phone to become the only thing we have to carry. We have improved that on the Moto G Plus. It is the most advanced 16 megapixel imager in its class. We have two dual autofocus technologies. The first one is auto laser focus, will help you in low light situations. And the second one is called PDAF, phase detect autofocus, that will help you in bright light situations. If you don't believe me, you should believe DSO marks, the industry standard for analyzing imager quality on smartphones. They have ranked us photo quality beating iPhone 6 Plus and over a score of 84. We have also improved our low lighting performance. We're using a sensor by Omnivision called Omnivision Cell Plus. The large size pixel at 1.34 microns as well as the 2.0 aperture size will allow us to absorb more light and let more light in in low light conditions. The third way we're improving is by autofocus that I discussed earlier. So we have three ways to improve our low light conditions image quality. Not only did we improve the image quality on the Moto G Plus, we've also enhanced our experience. We added professional mode. Professional mode will allow you to have settings that's similar to your SLR, white balance, contrast. Also, we have auto HDR, panorama, drag to focus exposure. Those are the new software features that we've added this year to enhance the user experience. As you can see, we have given the choice to the consumer this year. Power of choice to choose the technology that matters the most to you. Moto G for a balanced smartphone that's great for every aspect of your life. Moto G Plus for a user who wants quick access and secure to their device and best in class camera. I'd like to end with the video. Thank you very much. It's an honor to be here. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you very much. That was very enlightening. So, ladies and gentlemen, in the beginning of the event, you heard me talk about 
Moto Gallery. Now I'm going to tell you as we had promised that we would let you know we're going to unveil the gallery and the experts behind that. So are you ready? Yes ladies and gentlemen let's meet the men and women that have experienced the power of this incredible device firsthand as they tell you what it means to them to never miss out on what matters the most. So let's begin. Well let me first as you can see on my left, ladies and gentlemen, yes, the first gallery, he has been doing this for years, traveling around the world, capturing beautiful moments and showcasing the pictures for his 105,000 followers. And when he's not doing that and he's on the move, he is cooking. Please give a round of applause for Mr. Yash Rane, a Mumbai-based chef and a travel photographer. There he is behind me by the Motor Nature Zone talking about Never Miss the Wild. Hello everyone. My name is Yash Rane, a chef by profession and a photographer by passion. So I'm I work on this theme called Never Miss the Wild. So recently I had been to this place called Lansdowne in Uttarakhand and I got a nice opportunity to cover this theme via this trip. So while I was in Uttarakhand and at Lansdowne, uh, the light was pretty harsh. So I was wondering like uh, how do I click pictures in such harsh light. Then uh, just because of this Moto G4 had this ultimate long exp uh, exposure thing. So you can actually adjust the exposure according to the harsh light and as per you can lower the harsh light and you get a perfect frame. Talking about the manual exposure also, you can click wonderful frames to if you want to do some macro photography as well. And about the battery, it's like while traveling, it's long lasting, like if you're consecutively traveling from places to places, due to, so you can, uh, the battery is really wonderful. Yes, over to Sheena. Thank you. Thank you very much. That was very, very adventurous and interesting. All right. So, well, if there is light at the end of the tunnel, that's where you will find Miss Asta Manchanda creating masterpieces for her 22.8 thousand followers. She is an expert in fashion photography and has experimented with low lighting photography. There she is, Miss Asta Manchanda by the Moto Cafe Zone talking about the never miss the perfect shot. Over to you. Hi, I'm Asta Manchanda. I am a fashion photographer. So being a fashion photographer, obviously, just being a photographer, obviously I would need like good light to work with my models. But uh, the really good thing about this uh, Moto G4 Plus is that it gives me a professional mode in the camera which just the ISO, shutter speed, exposure, color balance and uh, there's something called uh, autofocus, uh, which they call it as laser focus, which I think is quite apt because it helps me capture the faces, the expressions of my models very clearly. And uh, it works really amazing in dim light because um, usually I need speed light and like other uh, external equipments if I'm using my DSLR because I'm a photographer. I would need external lights, uh, but for this, like the phone is so handy and you can just adjust the brightness uh, even if it's like a really dimly lit room. You can just adjust the brightness and ISO and exposure and you're ready to go. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Asta. All right, so join me to the next, next gallery and here we are. Well, if there is anything appetizing somewhere in the world, you shall find him capturing each and every wholesome and delicious moment for his massive 500,000 followers. Please welcome Mr. Shuchir Suri, a food enthusiast. There he is behind me once again by the Motor Food Zone talking about never miss the vividness. Hi guys. So food is supposed to be shared and I share food via beautiful pictures and videos on my social media. Um, I never miss a moment anymore. I take great pictures uh, really quickly, maybe a flaming cocktail or a melting dessert. All thanks to the fingerprint reader 
uh, which unlocks the phone for me really quickly. So even if a hot sizzler is coming out, I unlock the phone in time. And with a twist of a twist of my wrist, the camera pops up, and I end up taking a fantastic picture. Secondly, uh, what's great in this phone is uh, I used to I end up going to a number of restaurants which have really, really, really bad uh, lighting. So the professional mode is fantastic for that. So it could be a dimly lit restaurant or it could be a, a sunny, bright uh, brunch that I'm at. No DSLR anymore. I just use the professional mode. I use one of the sexy filters and I just share it with my uh, following. Since I'm actually a social media addict and I live my life more on social media than in reality, I'm always on my phone. Uh, something, uh, a big problem which I faced in the past was uh, my battery would always die out. Um, this phone, what's fantastic about it is the, the turbo charging within 15 minutes. I don't only get enough battery for dinner, but till I don't get home after the after party. So six hour battery life with 15 minute charging, fantastic. So over to you, thank you guys. Thank you, thank you very much. That was very interesting. Join me to the next gallery, ladies and gentlemen. All right. So, an eye for extraordinary. This man is an expert photojournalist and excels in clicking action shots. With 25.6 thousand enthralled followers, yes, he has archived some breathtaking action pictures across the globe. There he is, once again behind me, by the Moto Dance Zone. Please welcome Mr. Anandito Mukherjee talking about never miss the action. Thank you, Sheena. In my profession as a photojournalist, I basically cover everything from politics, economics, sports, disaster, everything that makes news. And what I need is speed, accuracy and quality from my camera. So this phone delivers exactly that. It is fast in terms of focusing. The processor is lightning fast and enables me to take multiple shots. Not only that, uh, it also has a feature that helps me select best picture of the lot. If I take around 10 shots, the phone automatically selects the best of the lot and saves my editing time. Moreover, this also has a feature of having a five white balance presets so I can choose a white balance depending upon the scenario I am shooting and have a perfect kind of a lighting situation without manipulation of using of having to use any post processing softwares so yes this uh, camera this camera phone is uh, I would say a professional camera camouflaged into a mobile phone that helps me merge with the situation and shoot very discreetly. Thank you, Shina, over to you. Thank you very much. Full of action. Moving on to the... Okay, is that... That's a display? <laughs> Alright, that's some action there. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, join me into this next gallery. As I stand here, yes, you can all face me this side. Allow me to introduce you to our next well-known fashion and lifestyle expert. She has been featured by the most well-known national and international publications, that's right, like Vogue, Cosmopolitan, Times of India, Hindustan Times and many more. She has about 51,000 followers closely following the trends that she sets. Please welcome Ms. Pallavi Ruhel, our fashion and lifestyle blogger. There she is, yes. By the motto, beauty art, talking about never miss the perfect angle. Hi everyone, this is Pallavi Ruhel. I'm a fashion and lifestyle blogger. Uh, so I'm going to talk about how my experience has been with Moto G Plus 4, uh, G4 Plus. So, uh, you know, like the take, they say, okay, then what about selfies? There's nothing major about it. See, as a blogger, for me, selfies are pretty important because uh, I, when I share a selfie, it's about the face of the day or makeup of the day. I'm sharing the lipstick I'm wearing, the, uh, I'm sharing the liner or how am I wearing it. So, you know, there are people who are interested in knowing that and I need a phone which can sort of capture the right details with, with and give me a crisp and sharp image. So, it's very important the selfies come out good so people can actually know what exact shade I'm wearing. Besides that, there are accessories like earrings, neck pieces, even sunglasses which can only come out good, you know, in a, in a selfie. 
So uh, when I look for a camera phone, I, I mean, come on, you cannot be clicking selfies from a DSLR, right? So you need a phone which can capture the right image and the right detail needed. Besides the selfies, uh, I go out a lot. I mean, go to we, I go to many events or dinners or stuff, and you know, again, you cannot be carrying around a DSLR. I'm, as a blogger, I carry all kinds of uh, bags as well. So I, as a, if, if there's a phone which offers like a good professional mode to. Uh, you know, where you can just click pictures in dim light or harsh light. So the phone has a professional mode which helps me click pictures in all kinds of lighting. Plus there are other more features like uh, white balance, uh, auto focus and exposure. So these things, they sort of help me click, click pictures, good pictures, crisp pictures on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, besides that, uh, you know, on social media, people expect you, as a blogger, people expect you to share like good picture, good quality pictures. Which, you know, it's, it's not possible uh, so uh, uh, unless you have a good phone camera, you know. So, Moto G4 Plus has been a good experience for me. I've been using it for a couple of days and I'm really happy with the quality of images. Besides that, it easily goes with my personal style. I mean, uh, the sleek look and, you know, uh, the grip is uh, pretty nice. So, yeah, it go gels well with my utility and my personal style. So, I'm pretty happy with the phone. Thank you, thank you very thank much. You. All right, so can I have your attention back on stage here, all the way 360 degrees? Everyone, yes. And request you all to please settle down. All right, so well, we all know what a smartphone, the new G4 and the G4 Plus is, right? It's definitely worth to spend your money on them. But wait, what's the worth? To have this question answered, I would now request Mr. Amit Boni to please come on stage once again. Over to you, sir. All right. Um, before we go on to the pricing, a couple of more things that I would like to tell you. So we got uh, Moto G and the Moto G Plus. Moto G Plus actually is in two different variants. There is a 62 gig RAM and a 16 gig RAM and a 3 gig RAM and a 32 gig RAM version, uh, expandable to 128 uh, GB. And we'll have these available in black and white. Okay. All right. So Moto G Plus, the 16 plus 2 starts at 13499, and the 32 plus 3 is will be available at 14999. Moto G will be available starting next month and we'll, we'll keep the pricing on hold for that one when, when we kind of uh, do that. But Moto G Plus, just to reiterate, uh, 16 plus 2 version available at 13,499 and the 32 plus 3 available at 14,999. And these devices will be exclusively available on Amazon starting midnight tonight. Okay, Exclusively available on Amazon.in. All right. And as always, there's a bunch of offers that, that we have in place, courtesy some of our partners, iBibo, Kindle, um, and so on and so forth. Okay. Can we have the sizzle, please?
Thank you very much. Request you to please stay on stage. So, well now, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to call upon all the spokespeople to join us on stage. Yes, for the photo ops, I would call upon Dilon, Alison, Mr. Sudhir Mathur to please kindly, and of course, Mr. Amit is already there. Please join us for the photo opportunity. Please kindly stay on the stage. All right, so I request 